Hello, my friends. Long time no see. How was your vacation? Did you have a good time? I still recall the very episode I shared last year, right after the National Day holiday. It was about scheduling a buffer day before going to work. This year, I'll draw your attention with a more realistic problem. That is, what you should do after splurging on vacation. You might not be a profitable person, but you know, it's National Day holiday. Time to relax and dodge yourself a little bit. So let's sum up some expressions about money. 那上班的第一天呢，我们不要强度太大。这篇文章非常简单，讲的是假期之后怎么补财务窟窿。Get something back on track. 回到正轨。Some other idioms about track are as follows: lose track of time, 忘记了时间 keep track of something, 追踪什么的动向 keep track of expenses. Something is off the track. 是离题或者是出轨。比如说,说 ，his speech is off the track from the very beginning. On the track of 寻找什么。比如说 ，a lawyer is on the track of new evidence. Summer is winding down as is peak summer travel. When you return from vacation, you hope to bring a few things back to your real life. What you don't want to bring back, post vacation debt. 那 wind down 172期学过了，它有两个意思，一个是放松 ，I need a decent night's sleep to wind down。嗯，第二个呢是逐步停下，比如说 wind down the budget， 逐步缩减预算。Another example， credit to wind down failed banks drops again。关于关停 ，wind down 破产银行的信贷再次下降。Let's take a look at the first sentence. Here, I want to ask you whether you could replace so is peak summer travel with as is peak summer travel. It puzzled me, so I did some searching. Here is how. Things are going so, and so do I. Is technically an adverb. It is grammatically okay to say so do I in a conversation. For example, A said I work in IT, and B replied, Oh, so do I. However, when it comes to complex sentences, a conjunction is expected to connect two clauses. Here we need as. For example, Mark works in IT. As does Jesse. Or Mark works in IT, and so does Jesse. Any thoughts? Do you think it's convincing? Here are some tips to help you recover financially. First, review your spending. Go through your credit card and bank statements to get a detailed breakdown. This will help you to understand where your money went, so you can make better decisions moving forward. Look out for extravagant activities, fancy dinners, souvenir shopping, and premium lodging that add it up quickly. Credit card and bank statements. 信用卡和银行的对账单就是流水。注意一下这个词用的是 statement. Break down, 拆解。你经常会看到 YouTube 上有娱乐视频的标题是这样的 Robert Downey Jr. breaks down his career from Iron Man to Oppenheimer. 在体育赛事里也会出现两支队伍的对比、拆解和预测 Match up, break down, and prediction. 这里想说的是 add up. 它的字面意思呢是增加，它还有另外一个意思是 make sense， 有道理，说得通，或者是符合预期。比如说 his excuse just doesn't add up. 他的理由说不通。Or the number doesn't add up. 数字和预期对不上。Now it's time to look at your monthly budget and identify areas where you can cut back on spending. For example, you can eat out less, limit entertainment costs, reduce miscellaneous expenses, and pause non-essential subscriptions. Avoid drastic cuts to necessities like food and housing. The goal is to trim discretionary spending to pay off your vacation debts faster. Cut back on is to reduce. Miscellaneous is mixed or various. 各种各样的，通常指的是没有办法被分类的杂七杂八。Miscellaneous fees or expense. 杂费。十点的巧克力用的是 assorted chocolate box, right? Discretionary spending 又出现了。可自由支配的花费 ，pay off 有三个意思 ：pay off the debt or loan， 还债 ；pay off someone， 通常是给钱封口或者是贿赂。比如说 ，he paid off the inspectors with bribes of one thousand dollar. So the last one is something pays off, meaning resulting success. So all your hard work in learning English will pay off. 那么之前我们还学过一个词组叫做 pay down， 是分期付款。The cash stuffing method helps turn your budgeting into a more visceral, even gamified experience. Once the envelope is empty, that's that for the month. The root of visceral is viscous, 内脏 The plural form of viscous is viscera. Feeling from your viscera is visceral. 发自肺腑的或者是本能的 Visceral reaction, 本能的反应 Visceral hatred or pleasure, 由衷的讨厌或者是享受 Visceral obesity, 内脏的肥胖 It might not be realistic in China, but it suggests that people become more cautious when buying things with tangible cash rather than credit card or WeChat payment. 
refocus on your saving as the vacation days rank. Redirect those funds towards rebuilding your emergency savings account. Having this financial cushion is essential to prevent going into debt again for unexpected costs. So be patient for now and be proactive for next time. 随着你的债务还的差不多了，要转向去建立 emergency savings 应急的储蓄，也是后面提到的一个同义词，就是 financial cushion 财务的缓冲。We learned to take initiatives, 采取行动 in earlier episode. Here we have an adjective for it: proactive, 主动的 Company takes proactive steps to support mental health. 在当下稳健和耐心一些，在未来可以有更多的主动性 So, did money burn a hole in your pocket during the vacation? Did you successfully rein in the cost? Please share it with us. This is it, lines. I'll see you next time. <laughs>